how the universe tests your ass. Cause your ass gonna always be tested. Feel me? You gotta we gotta see how strong you are. We're gonna put you into some positions, some situations. And of course, a test can go out into many ways. A test, this remember, this is your test. This is what you ask for. Teamwork made the dream work, and of course, that's the universe. So the universe is pretty much gonna see how you're coming, see what you own, and of course. Universe is not a perspective of a person. <clears throat> Feel me? Whatever you trying to do, whatever you want to do, is how these things is being created. And of course, never forget, you are the one that's creating your reality. So when you understand that this is your perspective on how you look at things, you're the one that's pretty much controlling the will. You're the one that's driving the situation. Never put yourself into a position of being codependent on someone outside of you. Once you put yourself in the codependent energies, you start to become a demon. And of course, a desire means you need something <clears throat> to satisfy you, knowing that you already have these things inside of you. So the moment you put yourself into a situation by sitting down somewhere and getting situated in that area, you start to accumulate dust and dirt. And of course, this dust and dirt can be harmonious or harmful. And when this shit is harmful, that means you got stuck too long into an area. And of course, if you don't touch up on certain areas, it collect dust. It don't matter what the situation is. You can have the most cleanest room, emptiest room. You don't even have to basically be in a certain area or be in a certain spot. That goes to show the spirit, the spirit is always going to create a shape and form to create a nightmare or a walk in the Dawny Park. This is a situation where even if you wasn't in that area, you're still in that space. So dust can be accumulated, collected, and of course, flourished. So no matter where you go, you always got to do the nurturing perspectives. You always got to make sure things is clean. Things are more spaced out. And of course, when things are spaced out, you have, you have more space to create what you're trying to basically bring in. Remember, you have to also remember that releasing and letting go of situations and pre-existences are common in order for you to basically hold on to characteristics that can basically help you penetrate where you're trying to manifest towards you. Every day we manifest. And what that word mean? Man, then you fess. That means you can have an idea about something and you can feast with it, fess with it, and of course. Fess with it means you're eating and you're feeling good about it. It feels good, tastes good, and of course. This is how you can be the, basically the feast of the party. So, of course, if you're not the feast of your own party, you're going to be basically <clears throat> being the feast of somebody else's party. Which means that you ain't going to have your own table. You ain't going to have your own scenario, your own situations. You're just basically going to be someone that's here to collect <clears throat> peanuts. Which means that you're not going to have the fulfillment of having your own shit. You're going to be basically having to share experiences with an individual that you are in pursuit to, which means you work for this person. You in the shoes of wanting to be with this person just because they're basically holding you down for a certain amount of time. And remember, you're never supposed to get comfortable in areas <clears throat> where you don't appreciate being at. Even though it may seem like you seem appreciated to work here, <clears throat> it may seem like it's okay to work here. After a while, if this shit is not making you happy, if it's not making you love this shit, then you're pretty much working against opposite favors. You're going to always go against the opposite. You're either going to be giving this off or receiving this by someone else. And of course, the moment you stay in this area, you box yourself in. You create a box to create a square. And of course... Once you create that square, depending on how much shit get in there, this will put you into a situation of drowning. And of course, what happens when you drown? That means you've been into a situation deeply. And of course, and it gets too deeply in there, things get catastrophic, things get chaotic. And of course, you don't want these things to basically start to come into perspectives of having you <clears throat> be all over the goddamn place. You want to make sure that you're creating and clearing your space just because 
you in the situation of going here, being here, yeah, it may not be like the best thing that you want to accumulate, but you have to do what you have to do in order for you to basically move on in life. See, the thing is, <clears throat> in life, life is your bitch. You got to fuck life as a bitch. You can't look at life like it's a perspective where you have to respect this shit. No, fuck this life, feel me? Fuck this life. No, don't fuck your life. Fuck this life up, basically. You fuck this life up. You have this life work for you. You make this world work for you. You make the universe work for you. You don't work for the universe. Universe only gonna work towards people that's wanting it to work for it. Which means that there's so much energy out here. So much worlds out here. So much illusions and fantasies and of course dreams that have not been touched or fulfilled. And if these areas are not touched and fulfilled, then that means these areas and these places are like treasury boxes, which means certain areas have not been touched. In order for you to basically create that perspective, you have to go inside yourself and go to that space and be aware, be alert of these things, of where, how you can see the forefront of everything. Seeing behind the scenes is the first place you look, <clears throat> not seeing outside the scenes. You know how much narratives and fucking themes that they got you up under by you looking outside the perspective? Did you even basically come to the conclusion of saying, let me go behind the scenes. Let me see how things is moving into that space. Let me see how things is basically being built and accumulated in that area before we get to the perspectives of saying, oh, by the way, let's see what's going on. That's how they got you living backwards in this world. And of course, if you always living backwards, then your life is going to be chaotic and it's not going to be fulfilled in certain areas and certain mechanisms <clears throat> where you can maintain these positions. You're always going to be tested, no matter how you look at it. Feel me? You're always going to be tested. And of course, these tests are easy. But these tests are always going to go through challenges. Because we're always rotating in certain spaces, locations, and environments. So that means that these areas that you're rotating <clears throat> into are areas that needs to be fulfilled. And these areas that needs to be fulfilled are areas that needs to be basically put into perspectives of where you need to work on these areas, accumulate these areas, build upon these areas. And these areas that you're working on and building upon, these areas need to make need to be maintained. Feel me? And if these areas not maintained, then someone's gonna basically come in your area, <clears throat> come in your spaceship, and take your shit. Just Look at it like this. If you have an idea and you know that you created this fucking idea and you feel it, you feel me? Then that means you are pretty much like in a new area, a new space. And if you're in this new area, in this new space, then that means you're in a situation where you're bringing in new perspectives. And of course, every day we need to discover new things. Every day we're discovering new things, no matter how you look at it. And just because you see these things on the internet, on Google, that don't mean your ass can't be put up there. Your ass can be put up there too, feel me? You have to present these things, though. It's one thing to keep an idea, but the longer you keep it, how it's going to be fulfilled. Almost to the point where if you not, if you have an idea and you're keeping these things hidden, you're keeping your gifts hidden, how are these things going to get shined? It's not going to get shined. It's not going to get light. You may be like, oh, now nah, I don't want to show these things. But then what's the whole purpose of you even having a gift? <clears throat> Go be a rock. Get walked on. Because niggas going to walk on your gift. And of course, when you allow someone to walk on your gift, that means you're not strong enough. You didn't build a efficient enough spaceship or a shield to make sure these bullets or asteroids that hit you bounce right off. See, now, people, they got spaceships. Feel me? And they spaceship is, is weak, which means that when bullets fly through them shits, it's supposed to bounce off because if it's not, listen, if you're in a situation and you have a whole lot of faith knowing that goddamn well that if someone was to, was to point a gun at you, if you in the area, the idea in the space of this gun will not kill me, this gun will not shoot, this gun will not even drop a bullet. You have to be in these kind of perspectives on how you dealing with these situations. Because if you're sitting in that situation with that individual, you never know how these things are going to play out. Remember, your life determines everything. That gun might jam. And of course, being at that gun jam, that shit wasn't even basically being able to jam through you. It jammed 
internally, which means that that bullet went with inside itself. That bullet wasn't supposed to basically be, be presented to come outside of itself towards you. That means you control the situation. You control the narrative. And that goes deep, feel me? Almost to the guilt program. It is one thing to put yourself into the guilt program. If you're always feeling guilty about something or think that because if you do something, you're going to feel that deep internal gut feeling of guilt. Remember, these things is not true. You're pretty much in a situation of swimming through these things. So if these things do pop up and put you into a vulnerable situation, you have options, which means you can disagree with this feeling, this idea, this perspective, or you can agree with it by saying this is you. And of course, by you agreeing with it, you're fucking this children. You're fucking a, kid, a child right now, which means your child, your ideas, your child, your feelings, your child. Now, <clears throat> you're living through these experiences. That child has created a nightmare on own for you, which means you agree to that child idea, that feeling idea. Feel me? Now, it's creating into your world. Now, you're in a situation of doing that over and over again. Because why? Because you keep agreeing to how you feel about something. You don't want to feel about these things. You're tired of feeling about these things. But you put yourself into a situation of keep feeling about these things, <clears throat> and you're experiencing this shit. Feel me? You spend all your time, all your energy... On doing these things and the longer you stay here the longer it's going to take for you to get out this situation and what happens when something takes long for you to get out of it it starts to burden you and when you get burdened by certain bullets and certain hemispheres these shits put you into a situation where you never even want to basically be here no more so now take that into consideration the things that you hate the things that you don't like the things that you don't want to basically pay attention to or part taste participate into you need to start putting more energy of getting yourself out of that shit that's how you being tested right now by the universe. You are be like, oh shit, this person want this. This person want that. This person already have these things. So why is this person into a, in a situation? Uh, this person must be greedy, a greedy demon, which means that you're too greedy. You think that you need to do certain things to accumulate these things, but that's not even the point. Like if you have a whole lot of faith with inside yourself and believe you have these things already, and act and psych yourself up to make it seem like you don't like you like you have these things, even though you may not see it. <clears throat> this could put to us put you into a situation of saying, you know what? I love this person's energy. I'm gonna do whatever it takes and make sure that this person receives everything that he wants, deserves, and need. And I'm gonna give him more of that. For me, now this is a situation where this is the expansion and contraction perspectives, which means that okay, cool. Yeah, expansion and contraction is very far. It's very high. And now if you can be consistent with these energies and consistent with these things. I can work with you, feel me? Because now, you, you, now you're showing me that you're capable of handling all this shit that I'm basically giving you right in your fucking hands. So now if you can handle this shit, let's see what you can handle tomorrow. Let's see what you can handle after day to tomorrow. Remember, some days it's going to be some thunderstorms. Some days it's going to be some rain. Some days it's going to be some sun. You got to use every step of the way in every second every minute every hour of what you're accumulating to your perspectives because that's how you're being tested whatever you're trying to manifest you already have these things you have to basically look at the perspective of not worrying about the outcome on how it's going to play out because the outcome can play out into so many varieties and so many atmospheres and waters so you by you pretty much expecting an outcome to play out into a positioning you pretty much blocking all possibilities that can rain down to your existence. Remember, we even notice these things on the full moon. When that shit get full, emotions get full, nurturement get full, and of course, we achieve all our goals and all our gifts. But remember, the outcome may not play out in a way where you want it to basically play out for. That's why you got to be all in possibility modes, which means it can happen to all, to all in your 360, whether it's a person, place, thing, situation, someone you compromise with, things that you basically take care of, things that you basically are interest, interest, interested into, and things that you basically do on a day-to-day -day basis, or how you relate to these things, how you go deep about these things, how you experience these things, how you take status and what you're known for with these things, almost to the point, oh, you know, some alien, alienated shit, almost to the point it can just basically participate in the dream. You're supposed to dream the shit and it comes into existence. You never know how the universe is going to bring you this gift. But you play in a resistant mode, how you going to receive this shit? So remember, you're always being tested. And that's how the universe going to test you. You got to be up for the test and the challenge, motherfucker. Real shit. I love you.